hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again thanks for clicking on this video if you are new here please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos without much ado let's get started so we have crates new we have print we select our a3 size we have resolution 300 and we create So let's double click and unlock this background. We'll click OK. So I'm going to copy this exact code right here. And I'm going to add a solid color from. So I'm going to paste my exact code right here. We'll click OK. I'm going to create a new layer. Grab my ellipse tool. Just for change the flow to white. So U for the ellipse tool. And I'm going to draw an ellipse shape right here. So we can so we have this we can up this layer okay create another layer and we're going to drop it beneath the ellipse so i grab my brush to change the foreground color i'm going to copy this hexa code paste it right there and click ok Alright guys, I'm going to put a link in the description to download this file. So we'll click once. We undo that. We're going to change the color to white. We'll click once. On to TV transform. Click the check mark to confirm. Ctrl A, we center right in the middle. So we'll bring back this layer. We have a lips one. Ctrl A. So let's adjust this right over here. Okay. So we have a right here. Ctrl J. I duplicate. So we have two. I'm going to hold Alt, Shift and Alt so I could scale proportionately. Click OK. So I select this layer. Grab the ellipse tool and I'm going to change it. So we have the full as this color. I'm going to paste this extra code right here. Click OK. So we have this color. On 20, I transform. Make it smaller a bit. Click the jet mark to confirm. I said with this layer selected. I'm going to grab my brush tool and I'm changing it to the soft brush. Okay, let's test this. All right, so we can undo that. I'm going to copy this exact code right here and change the foreground color. Click OK. The right bracket key to increase the brush. So I'm going to click here once. Grab my move tool. Sorry, grab my move tool and drop this layer right here. Ctrl J, I duplicate. So I move this, I right, I select, right click, and flip horizontal. So we we'll adjust this. 
or make it bigger. Make it bigger a bit and click the check mark to confirm. So we zoom in. Grab a rectangle tool. Okay, we draw a rectangle shape right here. V for move to and we're going to adjust this. Click the check mark to confirm. So we're going to apply layer star so we have gradient to valley. Right guys, I already have my gradient overlay set, so these are the hexacodes. Click OK. Oh, click OK. So let's transform this a bit. Click the check mark to confirm. So I grab my add anchor point two, and I'm going to. So we can do that. Hold control. I'm going to move it this way. Up. We click yes. We are at this side as well. Hold control. So move it this way. So we have this side as well and we're going to move it up. Or we'll just this side a bit. So we're going to make this bigger. We'll click the check mark to confirm. So we have a choice here. Control J we duplicate. So we have one on top. With the copy selected, we'll grab the, our anchor point two. So we hold control. Okay, we zoom in, we hold control, we're going to move it this way. We move this as well. So we're going to move this. Okay. Hold control and move this down. We're going to drop this layer beneath. So we'll drop it once more. So we have it. We'll drop it again. So we have it right here. Grab our move to select the select this layer, right click and clear the layer star. We have to notepad and copy this hexa code. We copy. So we're going to add a color valley. A layer star so we have color valley. We're going to paste our hexa code right here and click OK. I'm going to select the this layer on top. Grab my add anchor point two. So with this selected, I'm going to move it down this way. We hold control and move it down. Okay. We can do that to do it once more. Hold control. We move it down. Okay. I got my move tool. Select this layer. Grab my app anchor point two we hold control move it down the other side we hold control and move it up so we have this 
so we have this shape right here okay so we will undo that click the check mark and undo that So we have our rulers right here. We grab our rulers. Grab one more. Zoom in. And we're going to adjust this ruler. With this layer selected, we're going to rasterize it. Grab our pen tool. So we'll click here. Add a point here. Add another point here. We add one here. And we join it right click and make selection we have further video so we click ok and press delete ctrl d we take select so we'll go to view and clear the guides we don't need them any longer so we do to notepad copy this grab my test tool All right, we just click OK. So I'm changing the font. So I'm going to change the font to this one right here. Click the check mark. I'm going to make this all a package. We'll click the check mark. Let's select this layer and delete it. So we have fashion selected. We're going to change it to all a package. Control T we transform. Make it bigger. Click the check mark. First, we will take this. Okay, we will take it and click the check mark to confirm. So, we're about to notify and copy this. Grab my test tool. Paste it right here. Okay, we're going to change the color. So we have the font as Accidental. Okay. Accidental presidency. So we're going to change the color to white. So we adjust it right on this shape. And we'll change the size. We'll increase it to 136. We are just going to try to rotate it a bit. Click the check mark to confirm. So we're going to add a layer star so we have drop shadow. Alright, we have the opacity at 77, the distance as 25, spread at 15, and the blend mode as multiply. Then we'll click OK. So we do what to notepad and copy all of this grab my test tool so we're going to reduce the size ok it's dead paste it right here click the check mark to confirm so we zoom in I'm going to highlight this and cut it click the check mark to confirm I'm going to paste it right here Have my move tool so we're going to change the color to this color and click ok transform this a bit click the check mark and move it right here we select this we grab our test tool 
the highlights and cartridges. Click the check mark. Grab our move to going to adjust the right here. Click the check mark. Change the color from to this color. Control T will transform. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to select these two layers. Control T I transform it together. We adjust it. Click the check mark. So I've got my rectangle to draw a rectangle shape right here. So we have this layer added down. Okay, we're going to move it up. So we can move it up again. Alright, so we have it here. I'm going to change the color to, to this color. We'll click OK. Grab my move tool. We'll transform this. We adjust it. Click the check mark to confirm. You zoom in and adjust it a bit again. Click the check mark to confirm. So we're going to increase the corner first. We unlink that. We're going to change this to 17. We have this as well to 17. So we collapse this. Grab my add anchor point to root control. We're going to move this this way. We'll click yes to so rotate this a bit we adjust and rotate it click the check mark to confirm i got my pen tool Okay, with this layer selected, I'm going to rasterize it. Rotate it a bit. Okay. Grab my pen tool. Add a point here. Add another one here. advanced one and we're going to join it so we hold control okay we adjust this we're going to join it to so right click and fill the path So we'll click OK. So we can do that. So we guys, it's not correct. So we're going to undo this. This is very bad. We're going to undo all of this. OK. So first and foremost, we have to create a new layer. Sorry guys, we have to create a new layer. So we have layer 3 right here. Grab our pen tool. So we'll click here once. Click. Click here once. We add another one here. 
and rejoin it right click for the pad so we have color side out notepad copy this paste it right here and click ok so this layer selected i'm going to move it down right here okay so we have to try it over here zoom in grab my pen to right click create a selection press ctrl d with the select that so it works not well in copy of grab my test tool and i paste the choice here click the check mark change the color to white for move to transform this click the check mark zoom in i'm going to move it right onto this shape first of all we'll move the layer to the top so we have it on that shape zoom in ctrl t will transform we'll adjust it onto this shape Okay. <laughs> so we're going to select all these layers. We select the top one. We hold shift. We select this one. Control G we group. So we have this as one group. Control T we transform. Make it smaller a bit. Okay, click the check mark, Ctrl A, the center. Okay, so we adjust this a bit. Got my rectangle to change the photo white. So we're going to draw. Angle shape right here, very small. First, come to A, then we center right in the middle. Okay, we first come to J and duplicate, and we'll drop this under right here. I'm going to copy this, grab my test tool. change the color so we change the test color to white we click ok so you already have the font there we'll click and paste click the check mark grab our move to and we're going to adjust it right here ctrl a center ctrl d with select so we have to character properties we going to increase the size to 36 going to increase one more to 48 okay this is fine press ctrl a the center ctrl d with select so we'll grab our ellipse tool we'll try an ellipse shape right here so we have the stroke colors right we'll reduce the stroke size to 53 we adjust this a bit. First, Ctrl J. We duplicate. We duplicate once more, and we can off this layers. We have this selected. We have group one selected, and we're going to move it up. So we select these three layers right here. We hold this one. Shift to hold the last one, and we move it up. First, we group with Ctrl G, so we have group two, and we'll move it up. Head about far. 
place embedded I have my item right here so let's open up this and select this so we'll click the check mark we're going to convert this to smart object control tv transform So we drag it here, make it smaller a bit. We click the check mark right click. Sorry, we click the check mark. We have this layer selected, we have the leaves added down. We right click and create a clipping max. We select these two layers, control GV group. So we'll move this item where the water file place embedded select this item and we'll place click the check mark to confirm so convert to smart object control to transform it Click the check mark to confirm. So hold alt when we have that sign, then we click to create a clipping max. We have the third layer. We have this ellipse right here. Remove. So we select group three, remove it. We select these two on top, control J, we group it. So group 4, we move it, we select this, okay. Advert for our place embedded, we select this, we place. Whoosh. Sorry guys, we'll click OK. So I'm going to open my explorer and edit that picture. So I have it tried in downloads. Alright, so we right click. So we're going to edit it with paint. So we have file. Save as JPEG. JPEG format. I'm going to save it right in the same folder. So we have it here, we're going to change the name. Then we save. We'll click here. Okay. Then we we'll could close this. So we we'll open Photoshop again. Where the file place embedded. And select this. We we'll place. So we have it right here. We click the check mark. We right click. Convert to smart object. Control T we transform. Transform this a bit. So we're going to create a clipping max. We hold alt and we have that sign and we click okay so we select two layers control g we group so we're going to select all the three groups three to five first remove this select group five to three so we're going to transform all these at once click the check mark Press Ctrl A and we center. Ctrl D with the select. So I'd like to note and copy distance. We're going to change the size to 30. 
or paste right there. Click the check mark. So we're going to change the font to accent demi board. Okay. So we have all our packets and we're going to change the leading to auto. So we'll paragraph yet and make it center. Grab my move tool and adjust it right here. Hold Alt and drag to duplicate. Hold Alt and drag so we duplicate once more. And grab my te test tool. Okay, with this layer selected, I'm going to edit it. Okay. So we'll click the check mark. We'll edit this as well. I will click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to grab my ellipse too. Okay, we'll do an ellipse shape right here. We collapse that. We move it up a bit. Okay. So what far? Place embedded. I'm going to select this or place when we we'll transform this a bit and adjust it right here. Okay, we adjust it right here. We're going to not bad. We're going to copy this. We'll copy this. Grab my test tool. So we have this color. We'll click OK. We'll click and we're going to paste it right here. Grab our move tool. We press Ctrl A. So we center. Ctrl D with select. OK. to move this up so we have it this way all right guys thanks for watching once again see you in my next tutorial